Hello and welcome to this tour of BFD Eco. The first thing you want to do when running BFD Eco in standalone mode is set up your sound card settings. If you go to IO settings, audio devices, you can choose which sound card to use. In audio channels, you can use which outputs of a multiple output sound card to use. You can choose buffer sizes, sample rate, and you can select which MIDI ports to use. BFD Eco is a very preset driven plugin. On the top right hand corner here we have three preset choosers. There are main presets which save or load the entire state of BFD Eco including your drum kit, mixer settings and groove settings. There are kit piece presets which only load kit pieces and there are mixer presets which will only load your mixer settings. Let's load a global preset. You can navigate around the main BFD Eco interface by using these three tabs at the top here. We also have a preferences menu which allows me to set the data path which is where BFD Eco looks for its audio data, rebuild the databases, load a key map which if you're using an electronic drum kit or a MIDI controller you'll want to set up right away. If we go to the load key map menu here you can choose from many default MIDI controllers. We can also enable tooltips, enable outputs as numbers, which you'll want to enable if you're using BFD Eco as a plugin within Logic, enable the drummer perspective, which flips the stereo field of all channels, enable anti machine gun mode, which forces BFD Eco never to play the same sample twice. This is a great setting for even more realism and load on demand, which will reduce RAM usage by only loading those layers of the kit pieces that BFD actually needs to use. We also have another menu which allows me to launch the manual, open various pages on the F Expansion website, check for updates and visit the BFD drum shop where you can buy expansion kits and packs for Eco. Let's also take a look at the main options bar along the bottom. To the left here we have a master volume knob which affects the output of the entire program as a whole. We have a master bleed control. BFD Eco's recordings contain bleed just like in a real drum kit. So when you hit the snare that snare signal will also bleed into the kick drum. This master bleed control can change the amount of bleed between various kit pieces. If I pull it all the way down there'll be no bleed at all and we just get the direct signal from the appropriate microphone. We also have a master tune control which tunes all of the kit pieces at once. A master dynamics knob which allows me to increase or decrease the velocities of the incoming MIDI in order to essentially tell the drummer to play harder or softer. We have a humanized velocity control which will add some randomness into the velocities. And we have a velocity to amplitude control which changes how much incoming velocity affects the volume of all kit pieces. We have a master effects power knob which will turn on or off all the effects within BFD Eco. We have a learn button which is very easy to use. This is a MIDI learn so if I enable it then select any parameter with a green overlay and move a knob or slider on my MIDI controller that control is MIDI learned. And we have an offline button which must be enabled if you're doing a bounce within your host that is quicker than real time. We have master transport controls, back to start, stop and play, a panic button which will stop all audio, audio and MIDI indicator lights, a tempo, time signature and song position indicators. So let's take a look at each of the three tabs. The first is the kit piece tab and here in the top half of the interface we can see a nice 3D render of our kit. BFD Eco has a fixed kit piece size. One kick one snare, one hi-hat, three cymbals, three toms and three percussion slots. 
you can see that each of those kit pieces has its own individual mixer channel. We also have a channel for the overhead microphones, the room microphones, and two auxiliary channels, which can be used for delays, reverbs, parallel compression, and so on. And then we have a master channel. The next tab is the channel tab, and this gives me detailed information on whatever channel I've got selected in the mixer. So if I choose my kick drum, you'll see the interface updates to show me information on the kick. On the left here, we have various parameters which can affect my kit piece. I'll solo the kick drum and we can hear exactly what's happening. Here we have a kit piece dynamics knob. Much like the master dynamics knob, this will allow me to tell the drummer to play the kick softer or harder. We have a damping knob which allows me to dampen the kick drum which essentially tightens it up. We have a knob here labelled in out and that allows me to blend between the two microphones that we use to record this kick drum. In is the microphone that was inside the kick drum and out is the microphone which was outside the kick drum. You can hear that the outside microphone gives us a duller, more bassy tone, whereas the inside microphone gives me a clickier tone. If I choose the snare drum instead of the kick drum in the mixer, you'll notice that this knob changes. For example, on the snare drum, we can balance between the top and bottom microphones. We have a tune knob, which allows me to tune my kit piece. Two sends, one for each auxiliary channel. Great for if you're using them for delays and reverbs. two knobs to control the amount of signal from this kit piece to the overhead microphones and the room microphones. We also have a stereo flip button. For each channel there is a fixed EQ. This is a four band parametric EQ and we also have two insert effects channels from which you can choose a wide variety of different effects. Compressors, delays, filters, flanges, reverbs, envelope shapers, and some fun things like ring modulation and bit crushes. The final tab is the Grooves tab. The Grooves library is where we can get access to our library of thousands of grooves and build up a drum track. Here you can see our drum track. I could cut and paste parts and add new ones. I can also use the various search filters to help me find genres, BPMs in order to narrow down my search. I can also use the search function. On the right here we have several real-time effects that we can apply to our groove. Quantize allows me to apply various amounts of quantization to the groove. By contrast, I can also humanize the time in order to inject a bit of human randomization to the groove. And I can simplify it, which will intelligently strip out certain drum hits. Finally, there's a swing control. When I'm happy with my drum track, I can simply drag and drop it either as a MIDI file or to my host's instrument or MIDI track where I can do further editing. And that concludes our tour of BFD Eco.